So um, good afternoon. Uh, today is uh, Friday, the 31st of uh, July 2020, and this is uh, once again the uh, summary of the press, English, English language summary of the press briefing of the Center for COVID Situation Administration, or CCSA, and we're here uh, for you uh, once a week as, as announced. Um, so as there was a four-day uh, public uh, ho holiday uh, in the past uh, week, that helped a lot in, of course, uh, boosting the economy in terms of uh, tourism. So we hope that everyone had a enjoyable uh, long weekend in the past week, and then we came back, uh, most of us came back to work on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and now it's uh, Friday. Uh, of course, you enjoyed uh, spending time with your loved ones in a uh, healthy atmosphere, of course. Um, so thank you all, Thai, uh, all Thai citizens, as well as foreign nationals re residing in Thailand, for continuing to practice the important measures, the six important measures, and staying safe. Please always be reminded that all of us play a very uh, crucial and important uh, role in keeping each other healthy, in keeping each other safe during these times. So moving on to the general situation and the number of uh, cases that we have, to recap the number of cases reported in the past uh, seven days, because we're here for you once once a week. In the past seven days, we recorded 25 new cases, all imported, uh, found during state quarantine and among passengers repatriated from abroad, including from countries like Sudan, the United States of America, uh, Philippines, Bahrain, Indonesia, um, and other countries. Um, and still, there were no uh, new local domestic cases reported. For today in particular, we have reported six new cases, as you can see the numbers on the English language slide on, on screen right now. For the details of these cases, uh, of the six, five cases are Thai nationals returning back from repatriation flights from Egypt, all undergoing treatment. Uh, they arrived on the 24th and the 30th of July on these two dates. Uh, the other one case of the six uh, is a Thai national returning from the Netherlands, arri arriving back on the 25th of uh, July. So in total, as you can see the numbers, 3,310 uh, cumulative uh, cases with, with uh, 3,125 recoveries so far, total of 127 currently uh, in hospital and receiving uh, treatment. Today also marks the uh, 67th uh, day that Thailand has had uh, no domestic or local uh, infection. So even though we have had a stable number uh, of cases for a, an extended period of, of time, uh, over two months already, the pandemic globally is, of course, as you would know, still uh, evolving and affecting people around the world. Accumulated total number is globally is now 17 million, with uh, over 670,000 uh, deaths. And many countries have also faced uh, the second wave uh, as well, as you can see in the uh, news. And the spokesperson had mentioned uh, today also that uh, in, uh, in our region, actually, in, in, in Vietnam, they discovered a uh, sort of like a, a new, new cases, a surge uh, in, in Da Nang, uh, perhaps of a stronger strain with uh, around 400 uh, plus new uh, cases in, in one day. And the authorities, the government there has uh, ordered the closure of uh, restaurants and business uh, establishments. So that's actually uh, close by to, to Thailand uh, within, uh, within our region. So therefore, just to stress that we have to keep our guard up, be on the lookout, and remain uh, vigilant, remain vigilant uh, for any uh, sign of uh, uh, further infection. The spokesperson also mentioned in passing about the continued uh, repatriation of Thai nationals. Uh, just to recap, to date, until the, uh, today, the 31st of July, uh, Thailand has repatriated around 60 uh, six zero, sixty thousand Thai nationals from countries and territories around the world already. You have images of that just uh, in, in passing of those repatriation flights. And since the beginning of July, for foreign nationals, around over 2,000 uh, qualified foreign nationals have also already returned, re been repatriated back 
uh, to Thailand uh, for those who are qualified in the various uh, groups that we had mentioned earlier, in the 11 groups. And all have, of course, to uh, undergo the 14-day uh, mandatory state quarantine without any uh, exception. So please be assured that we will still be bringing uh, people uh, back to Thailand, uh, Thai nationals and foreigners in, in parallel, uh, until the situation uh, around the world is safe and enough uh, to reopen borders, whether by land, by water, or by air. So if, uh, as a foreign national, if you are categorized uh, in uh, these groups that are uh, allowed to return to apply for the COE, or Certificate of Entry, from the Thai embassies, and wish to come back, you would have to, of course, contact the, and register with the Thai embassies abroad and provide the, all the required documents and wait for the request uh, to be uh, uh, taken. Um, in terms of the extension of the uh, emergency decree, just to recap again, because today is the last day of July, uh, so the emergency decree as approved uh, will be extended for one month uh, from the 1st of August, uh, which is tomorrow, until the 31st of August, at the end of uh, next month, uh, to enforce uh, the various uh, control measures, the restrictions, the quarantine system, the surveillance of suspected cases. This will, will also facilitate the relevant uh, officials to work uh, in uh, synergy uh, and efficiently uh, cope with the situation, the dynamic, the changing situation. And these, of course, are the key factors which has led Thailand to somewhat be uh, successful uh, thus far in fighting against COVID-19. Also, as a reminder, which was announced uh, for uh, foreign nationals in the uh, briefing last week as well, but as a reminder, um, that uh, with regards to the extension of visas that we mentioned already, of course, more details uh, for the application uh, can be found uh, from the Immigration Bureau. Uh, yes, you have an infographic announcement there uh, in English from the Immigration Department uh, themselves with the hotline 1178 to prepare for your uh, next steps. Basically, not an automatic extension of stay like the last two uh, times, uh, not, not like that per se, uh, but not an automatic extension per se, but um, a grace period to apply to, uh, to remain in Thailand uh, or, or, or to leave the country after the 26th of, uh, before the 26th of September. So that grace period is the 1st of August uh, to, uh, tomorrow until the 26th of September uh, 2020. The spokesperson also mentioned about the, uh, a couple of good news as well. Uh, from time to time, of course, we have to talk about good news, the things that make us stronger, make us uh, have, uh, be inspired, and make us uh, work together more and be, remain vigilant as one. So uh, various uh, uh, mentions of, of Thailand around the world. You probably have heard about this in the press, but uh, I'll just put out a disclaimer first. After I say this, I'm, I'm going to say that it actually means that we do have to continue our, our, our good work. So the first is that the WHO has uh, indicated for, for Thailand uh, as, a, as a model for handling uh, uh, COVID as one of the successful models uh, to be featured uh, in their studies, their documentaries about handling and uh, stopping the spread of uh, COVID. Uh, the other country, uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, for the same purpose was, was New Zealand. The second is the, from Bloom, Bloomberg. Bloomberg, uh, the performance for Thailand, according to Bloomberg, ranks the fourth best uh, in the world in terms of uh, COVID uh, measures, prevention. Uh, they reported that uh, Thailand came fourth um, uh, in, in, in terms of uh, one of the best countries in handling the outbreak, uh, this is based. This report is based on the uh, numbers that they have uh, monitored, the level of, of activity uh, compared to the uh, pre pre virus uh, era, pre virus uh, normal times, and of course, the policies, the measures uh, announced and implemented uh, and uh, enforced and the policy space that is available uh, to counter uh, the infection. And thirdly, lastly, uh, the most recent one is the recovery rate of Thailand, ranking best in the world uh, according to Global COVID-19 Index, or GCI. GCI on the 25th of July ranked Thailand as number one in the world in terms of recovery uh, rate, uh, uh, increasing from 
81.15 uh, in terms of their in index to 81.55 uh, most recently by the GCI. So quite uh, good news for that, uh, that we have moved uh, somewhat to, uh, towards the right track. Uh, of course, there are many challenges. We in Thailand are probably not doing everything perfectly because there is no such thing as uh, a, a perfect effort, a perfect person, a perfect uh, country in terms of dealing with, with crisis. So therefore, as I mentioned in, in the beginning, we must continue to keep up uh, this good work and we will head towards a better future and a safer, healthy, healthy uh, future uh, together. The spokesperson also uh, mentioned about the uh, cooperation that continues to be uh, needed from various sectors of, of society, be they in government, uh, the various minist uh, ministries that are needed to, uh, their efforts are still needed, the strong efforts are still needed in terms of integration, in terms of alerting the public, in terms of their implementation. Uh, aside from ministerial level, also the local uh, government level, the provinces, as you know, in the past few weeks, there was the uh, case, the uh, challenge in, in Rayong uh, province. And most recently, uh, there, are, there were some events uh, around the country, uh, uh, frankly speaking, in terms of uh, concerts or entertainment uh, events in various provinces around the country, wherein it's posed as a very uh, alarming challenge, alar alarming uh, case that uh, some people who attended these uh, events or, or concerts uh, were kind of lax in terms of uh, their social distancing. So that remains to be one uh, sector that we have to work, work uh, more on. So ministerial level, uh, uh, local uh, province level, and lastly, of course, the private sector, the business sector. Uh, your cooperation is very, very important, the spokesperson uh, stressed. So in conclusion, uh, in spite of the increasing numbers of infection uh, and second wave uh, outbreak, uh, so so-called second wave outbreak uh, in many countries around the world, even uh, our neighboring countries uh, in our region. For Thailand, we have to keep having a positive uh, attitude and join hands in fighting against uh, the virus. Every person's uh, cooperation is uh, the most important uh, tool to keep our society, our families, and our loved ones uh, safe. So please continue uh, to wear masks wherever you go. Uh, continue to keep uh, social distancing and stay hygienic, avoiding crowds, and of course the measures that we have uh, announced to you and been uh, practically reminding the public every, every day. Because the accolades, the uh, praises that we receive wouldn't be meaningless, of course, if at the end we are not able to control uh, or prevent uh, the second uh, wave. So just uh, finally for today, uh, for our uh, Muslim brothers and sisters, uh, we hope your Eid al-Adha is filled with friendship, kindness, and love. Uh, Eid Mubarak. And thank you very much for your attention uh, for, to everybody. Please have a pleasant weekend, and then we will see you again next week. Thank you. Sorry,